Hello everyone, welcome to another video. It is Francesco here. And in this video, what we're going to be doing is checking out Bear 1.2. Now, for those who don't know, Bear is a note-taking application that has been out for a little bit of time now. It got launched at the end of 2016, and now it's sort of brought two iterations so far in 2017. Bear 1.1 and now Bear 1.2. So we're going to run over a few of the changes, although very thin, that Bear 1.2 has introduced. Uh, we're going to check out some of the stuff that it's done on Mac and iOS. It's only available for Mac or iOS at the moment, uh, but let's jump straight in. Before we start, I just wanted to mention the email newsletter. Uh, if you guys aren't signed up to it, it's in the description below. It's a weekly email newsletter all about productivity apps, and you'll really enjoy it if you love all of these sort of types of uh, features. Anyway, let's let's get stuck in now. So as you can see, uh, this is Bear for Mac, and as you can see, I'm just uh, demonstrating what Bear on iOS has changed. So there have been a few things that have changed. Mainly the things that have changed have been uh, design-based, um, but the main experience that has changed is has been on iOS. So as you can see, here is the iOS application. I was just in settings there. Let's say I start a new uh, note inside of Hello. Um, and as you can see, this little squiggle is brand new. Uh, this squiggle is essentially drawing or sketching. It's a new function inside of uh, Bear that would allow you to create new notes uh, using the sketch function. So you can, you know, you can design off any different, uh, of, like all the colors and, and things like that. So if I wanted to like try and draw a, a house or something, I don't know, what, like if you want to sketch out anything, um, I'm not an architect, um, but if you want to sketch out anything, you can, uh, and on the iPad Pro, it works quite well with the Apple Pencil as well. So this is an iPhone 6 Plus, so it's actually quite a big screen. However, I found it a little difficult to sketch, like, sketch on there, but you can do that when you've got like a bigger iPad. Uh, or you've got an iPad as a regular. So that's uh, handy to have, especially if you want to illustrate it uh, next to some notes. You've also got some like undo functions up here and a pencil as well uh, to complement um, look. Uh, and then you've got an eraser as well, so you can quickly erase stuff out too. So it might be nice if you want to visually uh, like quickly do it. And you can also save the image directly as well, uh, which is actually pretty handy. So the next thing that I want to mention is the custom app. Uh, icon and many people have been wondering what this actually means um, so let's just jump over to the Mac version they do this on iOS as well so if you go over to uh, I think it's files uh, and up to bare preferences and as you can see on theme uh, you've got all these lovely themes and this is pro so on freemium you get three basic themes uh, you click this button here and as you can see down at the bottom the icon actually changes based on the colorization you go with uh, it's quite cool actually because I didn't actually know that you could do this as a developer or anyone um, and it's actually a neat way to get people really interested. So if I went with high contrast my bear logo would be blue and you can actually opt out of that if you want. It's actually automatically opted out so make sure that you press this button down here to get access to it. Now it's the same on iOS. If you go to iOS um, and click theme, uh, you can obviously uh, change any of the themes, but you need iOS 10.3 uh, to get access to the ability for the icon to actually change. I didn't even know that was possible again. Uh, so it's something that Bear has obviously uh, gone very closely to Apple system with. Now the other things that have changed is voice over support. You are now able to use that function. Uh, you can just go to settings on your iPhone and actually get that up. That's for any people who are visually impaired and need some assistance with uh, being able to read the text up. So that's good that they've integrate, integrated that function in. Now some of the other stuff, they've introduced uh, three new languages. Uh, they've introduced Korean, Brazilian, Portuguese and Russian. And they've also introduced these really cute uh, iMessage things. So let me just bring. So as you can see, uh, once you're in iMessage and you go to a certain, um, uh, I don't know, a new uh, contact. So if you just go to the, um, like a text message and you hit the app uh, icon button, uh, all you do is you click the store. And it should be, if you hit store and you go over to managed, um, you can actually act to activate it here just by clicking this really uh, simple button and once you get that and you click onto that you can actually get these really cool emojis uh, that you can send to people and there's there's not too many there's like 12 or something like that uh, but it's actually a nice addition um, that you can have on top of there now i can imagine they're looking at building that out but it's just probably something to make apple very happy 
Anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video on the Bear 1.2 updates. As you can see, there's not too many updates. Uh, there's a few really interesting ones in terms of customization. That sketching one will be really handy for iPad users. But apart from that, there are just some minor tweaks as well, some visual tweaks uh, that have been made. But apart from that, it is additional uh, functions. Thank you very much for stopping by. If you haven't joined up to the e-newsletter, do follow the e-newsletter. It's uh, free to join and uh, it's really informative if you love productivity applications. So feel free to sign up in the description. And also, please do comment if you have enjoyed the changes of 1.2 or are going to predict any changes for the future. Anyway guys, thank you very much. Make sure to have a great week, keep productive, and I'll see you guys very soon. Cheers.